Hey there, this is Red, and it's time for another episode of Red Plays. So today we're playing STEM Epic Heroes. We're going to have a face-off between Stefano and Jesse. All right, so STEM Epic Heroes is a battle between two players trying to be the first. Well, it's not necessarily the first. It ends when somebody gets all five pieces of the scientific method, but then it's the person that's got the most points at the end of all of that. So um, we're going to do it, get our science on tonight. All right, so we've got Stefano and Jesse start off. They each need six of these hero cards. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now they would normally have a chance to uh, mulligan if they wanted to, but I'm gonna skip over that and we're just gonna start with what we got in this game. All right. Um, also of note are there are some things I'm keeping out of this game. So what I'm not playing with in this game is the challenge cards. They're being kept out. Uh, these cards right here are five point uh, step cards and they're used when you play with more than two players. And then I'm not using the inspiration cards, which adds some of the take that to the game and kind of the instance to the game. I'm trying to keep the game nice and lean as the starter game, right? It's kind of our in intro game. All right, so looking at what Stefano's got here, he's got a laptop, he's got Hang, which is a polymath, which is interesting because there's going to be these uh, steps of the scientific method out here and a polymath can grab any of them. See, it says right there, um, can acquire any discovery and use any enhancement regardless of type. So that's pretty cool because otherwise you kind of have to stick with your color. Um, I've got Emmy there, and if I was the algebraic structure, all your mathematics discoveries are each worth one additional point. Cool. So that will help her earn points, and she's got a calculator to go with her. So I've got a server room, a laptop, so Hang might be able to grab something and put a laptop, because when you grab a discovery, you can put one item and one location on it, so that enables Hang to be able to grab a lot of stuff. All right, so that's what Stefano's starting off with. Over here on Jesse's side, it looks like she's got Polymath also and Isaac Newton, and she's got Wu there. She has Babbage. How far can I go over here? Um, let's see here. She is set on the heroes. She's got a whole bunch of heroes, uh, but not as many items. All right, so let's put our discovery cards out. There's gonna be five of them out there. Two, th three, four, five. All right, so we're trying to grab all of the steps. So I see step four, five, two, and one out there right now, right? So for this one, a science person could grab this one or an engineering person could grab this one because it's got two colors on it, right? All right, so we're gonna start with Jesse. Jesse's going to go first here. Um, so she has Wu here. Wu says, let's take a look at Wu. Wu says she has gaseous diffusion. Split type discovery cards played with Wu are worth six points. Wow, six points is a lot of points. So I think we're going to get Wu out there first because we have just two green cards out there. So we'll go ahead and grab... Let's grab this observation card. So who's gonna grab an observation card? She doesn't have any additional things to throw on top of it, which is kind of disappointing, um, but that's a good start. So that's gonna actually count as six points rather than three points. So that's, that's a good start for Jesse there. All right, so Jesse's gonna be done at the end of her turn. She's gonna go back, she can discard up to three cards and then goes back up to six cards. So she's got five right now. She'll draw one and go back up to six. So she's got Fleming now. All right. All right, so then we need to refill our field back up to five. And we're going to look over at Stefano. What does Stefano have? Um, so I think Stefano wants to get Emmy out there because he can put a calculator out there with it right away. So during your turn, there are three things that you can do. One is you can make a discovery with a hero. And when you do that, you can add an item and a location to it, right? So 
ME can grab analyze data and put the calculator on it, right? And if I had a location, I could put the location on there too. So each one can have one item in one location. Um, that's one thing you can do to your turn. And that's That would be your turn. Uh, the other thing you could do during your turn is if I had happened to have drawn, let's say later I drew this calculator for my turn, what I could do is I could put this item on here and that would be my turn, right? The other thing is if I can't do anything, then my turn ends and I do nothing. In the case where I don't remove a card from the middle, I take one and kick one out and grab a new card out of the middle. All right, so we're back to Stefano's turn. He's playing Emmy here, grabbing the analyzed data and putting a calculator on it. And he needs to fill back up, so he's gonna need two cards. One, two, and we got Turing. Oh. Okay, and he's gonna flip another card out. All right, so we go back over to Jesse's side. So what's Jesse's got? She's got step one. Um, she's got Muhammad here. And let's see here, what's he wanna grab? Let's grab, we'll grab one of these publishes. Actually, he shouldn't know what she has for cards. So he's gonna grab this publish with a classroom and a calculator. Now, Muhammad has an ability here that says quadratic equation. Choose up to two players who must discard two cards of their choosing. So he's going to drop that. And then Stefano's got to drop two cards. So what's Stefano going to drop? He's going to drop this workshop and the abacus, which makes him sad. But there you go. All right. So Jesse's turn is done. She needs to fill the field back up and she needs to draw three cards to get back up to six. All right, so now we're back over to Stefano's turn. So now Stefano's starting a little bit shorthanded here, but he luckily he got to discard two that he wanted to get rid of. I think what he's gonna do is looking at the field out there, I think he's going to He's going to go after this publish results and he can play Alan Turing on that. And Alan Turing says, AI, the assistant robot is worth seven points when played with Turing. Well, he doesn't have the assistant robot, but he's got the laptop in the server room. So we're going to go ahead and add those onto this. All right, so Stefano's turn is going to be done. Now, the good thing is, He's got to fill this back up. He's going to get back up to six cards, so he's going to get a lot of new cards. You've got Grace Hopper, Hypatia, one, two, three, four, five. We got Godall and Tesla. Ooh, we got a good variety of heroes. All right, so now we go back over to Jesse. Jesse's got step one and step five. Oh, move step five way over here. Okay. Um, and we have step four and step five for Stefano. All right, so what's Jesse going to go after next? She's got a polymath. Well, she's got one of about every color except for the maths. And she needs step two, three, and four. So there's two, three. These wild steps could be any step. Uh, let's see what she's got. Um, Bell can actually have two locations. Thomas Edison can use unlimited items. Wow, what do we got that, all right, let's go with Babbage. Babbage is gonna grab this wild step. And let's put it at, so we see a lot of step threes out there. One step four. And what do we see over here? He's already got, Stefano's already got step, which step? Step four and step five. Okay, so it's not really gonna matter. He's probably gonna leave that step four out there because he's already got it. So let's make this a step two. We'll make this a step two. Uh, when I play that, I can play it with the assistant robot because I get an item. And Babbage says, if played with two technology enhancements, then double enhancement points. Well, he doesn't have two technology enhancements. He only has one, but maybe we'll get to that later. <clears throat> All right. 
So that's going to end us on Jesse's turn, or on Jesse's turn. Now, one of the things she's thinking is she's going to need some enhancements. So I think she's going to drop Edison. So she could drop up to three. So she's going to drop one, and she's going to draw three. So one, two. Wow, it's all the heroes. Three. Oh, there's a microscope. So there's there's a bonus card. All right. So she's done. Needs to refill the middle. We're back over to the Stefano. What's Stefano looking at? Um, oh, that's kind of interesting. So we have Godel here, and Godel says if he has gains an additional five points when played with no enhancement. So let's get him out there because I don't have any good enhancements to use. And there's this step three, and I have I have five and four. So let's go ahead and grab this step three with Godel. So in the end, that's going to be worth eight points. So that's pretty good score there. All right, I'm going to flip the card out and looking at what you want to get rid of. Well, it's got two polymaths. Um, what do we have? Let's get rid of Tesla. We'll hold on to Grace. All right. So do we get rid of Tesla and Edison? Yeah, back to back. All right. Um, so we're going to draw two cards. And we get a server room and Newman. All right. So let's go over to Jesse's side. So Jesse's got three of the five. So she needs, she's got step one and a wild step for step two. She's looking at three and four right now. So for step, there's a step four. Those are two step fours out there and two wild steps. All right. One of the great things could get uh, Fleming out there and use the microscope. What other powers do we have? So Bell can get two locations. That doesn't help a lot. Um, Edith Clark says all engineering discoveries are each worth one additional point. We don't have any other engineering discoveries out there. Oh, let's go with Fleming and we'll work on, we'll take this analyze. Now we'll take the wild step because we want to prevent Stefano over there from using wilds. So we'll take the wild step and we'll put it at step three here because step four, there's two cards out there to do step four in a wild. So we can probably get that in this next turn and we'll throw a microscope on there. All right, so Fleming's got an ability that says that this player is now immune to having enhancements stolen. All right, you can tell the green on these cards is close to my green screen color. All right, um, so he's going to be looking at probably completing step four. I think we're going to discard three cards. We're going to discard these three, so we're going to draw back up to six, which means we're going to draw five cards. We're hoping we're going to get places to play. So what I could be doing is doing all the math to figure out where I'm at points-wise, but um, being this is the first run-through, we'll just get it done and figure out points afterwards and then see how stuff goes. All right, let's over to Stefano's turn. What's Stefano looking at? So he's got... Three, four, and five. He needs one and two. Oop, forgot to refill this. So there's a one and two out there. Uh, what do we have? We've got... So Newman says self-replicating machine discovery cards are worth double when played with him. All right, so he would double up the discovery. Grace would let me peek at cards. I think let's go, let's go with John Newman. So we'll take Newman and... Let's grab this one. We're going to grab step one. It's still on our board here. Yep. Step one with Newman and the server room. All right. So what we can look at is we're going to discard two cards and get four more. So one, two, three. So what we're looking at is probably end of game because we're playing really simple here. You don't have any of the take that stuff out there. All right, so it's Jessie's turn. She needs step five. 
we see, oh no, that's step four. She needs step four. We see a step four there, a wild, and analyze data is step four. So what she could do is, um, well, I was gonna say she could build up. Well, yeah, so this is observation for Wu. So what she could do for her turn is instead just put that there and then be done for this turn. But what would probably happen would be actually she could do, well, if she were to do that, then Stefano would probably complete it on his turn and then the game would be over because we go through a full round. When somebody gets all five discoveries, then at that point in time, the round is going, that's going to be the last round that's played, right? So she might as well get out as much as she can this round. So the best way to get things out is going to probably be to use Newton because then I can use the science lab and the Bunsen burner. So let's, what do we need to grab? We need to grab a step four and actually, well, there's a lot of step fours out there and he's going to want a step two. And there's a bunch of step twos out there. So it doesn't really matter which one we grab. Let's go ahead and grab this wild step. We'll make that step four. As a polymath, Newton can acquire any discovery and use any enhancement regardless of type. So what that means is he can do the science lab with the rocket ship. All right, so he's done. He would draw back up to six. Four, five, six, and throw another one out in the middle. All right, so then we're back over to Stefano. Stefano's looking at his stuff, and he needs step two. So step two, there's a purple and a blue and a yellow. Oh, purple and a green and a blue and a yellow. So we got about all the bases covered. Looking at the characters that we have out there, we've got a purple. So she would make him... Discard a card from opponent's hand. No advantage there. Um, deduct three from the opponent with the highest score. That might be the best one to play. And then we have any discovery card scored by the Wright Brothers is worth six points regardless of its value. That may be the best one to play, actually. Because they can grab... There's a purple step, too. You can grab this purple step to play the Wright Brothers, and they can get the rocket on there. The Wright Brothers with a rocket. <laughs> That's a little bit of a step beyond where they started at. All right. So Stefano's pretty happy with that play. He would fill back up and draw two, but it's the end of the game. So it doesn't matter a whole lot. So now what we look at is scoring, right? So the way the scoring works is let's start with Stefano. If there's a tie, it's going to go to the least amount of cards, but I don't think it's going to be a tie. Let's see what we come up with. Um, let's go with Stefano and Jesse. All right, so Stefano has, uh, this says discovery cards are worth double when played with Newman. So this discovery card is going to be worth six. So seven, eight. So he's got eight points. This says discovery cards are worth six points. So this was eight plus six, seven, eight, nine. So we're at nine, where's nine? All right, then we get to here, and for Godel, he says, gains additional five points when played with no enhancements. So he has no enhancements, and that's a three, so that's eight more points. So we're at 17. All right, over here, we've got all your mathematics discoveries are worth one additional point. So actually, we've got two mathematics discoveries. So we're gonna get two additional points. But right now it's six, so we're going to add eight. So we're up to 25. 25. And then for Turing over here, um, if I had played the assistant robot, it'd be worth seven points, but I don't have the assistant robot. So it's going to be three, four, five, six, seven. So we get up to 32 with Stefano. The feeling is Stefano handily won this game. Um, but. We'll see here. Let's go add up Heather's. So 32 for Stefano. All right, so we're going over here to Heather. Or sorry, not Heather, Jesse. Jesse has, um, Wu says, split type discovery cards, which is what this is. It's a split type discovery card, or worth six points. 
So she's got six points. All right. Um, this says for Babbage, if played with two technology enhancements, then double enhancement points. We didn't get two enhancements. We only have one. So he's going to get three, six. We're up to 12. So there's one, two. We're at 12 points after Babbage. So Fleming says he's immune to stolen stuff, so that doesn't really help at this point, but we're going to get six points. We're up to 18. All right, then we've got Newton. Um, and he's just a polymath, so he can use any colors. So that's three, five, eight. We're up to 26. We're getting close to that 32. That, that 32 is pretty untouchable. And then Muhammad over here has... Three, six points, 32, it is a tie, holy cow. So now, I didn't think it would be a tie. So now it goes down to least amount of cards. All right, double check that. Let me double, double check that, right? Um, bum, bum, bum. Yep, the player with the highest score wins. If there's a tie, the player with the fewest played cards wins. That's what I thought. So let's count our cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh-oh. I don't think I caught that card in there when I totaled points. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and total points again. All right. So... 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 26, 32, 34. There's one that was hidden in there. 34 points. Okay. So it didn't come down to card count. There was a card hidden in there. Over here, Jesse scored 34 points and Stefano scored 32. So Jesse ends up with the win. Um, and that's, well, actually, we talked about the tiebreaker there. We went down to 15. If they both have 15, I don't think there's another tiebreaker after that. I think you just both win. So there we go. That's the very basic game of STEM Epic Heroes. You saw that was, that was pretty simple. Um, the way that works out is you're likely... And that play style is one I would play with kids probably if you want to play a really quick game. Um, your five turns are probably going to take you out, right? And if you have more players, there's going to be a little bit more selection uh, challenge for things that are in the middle. But um, at two players, you're probably going to go out in five rounds. You start throwing the inspiration cards in there. They're going to change that because you can force people to lose some of the ones that they've already gotten. Uh, and that can change the game around a little bit. So... Anyway, that's a really basic game of STEM Epic Heroes. Um, I would recommend you go out and get it. If not, the gameplay is easy and the cards are beautiful. Um, and the knowledge, the historical knowledge that's contained in these cards is fantastic. So um, that's a playthrough, STEM Epic Heroes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode. Please leave any comments or suggestions you have below. If you like this episode, make sure to click on that like button. And you can click on the crazy jackalope to stay up to date with any new content that rolls out.